Okay, sixth grade, lesson 99. This one is on fraction, decimal, and percent equivalents. Okay, so what I want you to do is draw a chart on your paper. Okay, and you're going to have, let's see, three like that, and then three like that. So basically a chart of nine. Okay. Now I'm going to put F for fraction, D for decimal, and I'm going to draw percent for percent. Got it? <clears throat> F, D, percent. And I'm going to try, write half right here as a fraction, 0 0.3 as a decimal, and 40% as the percent. Okay, now we're going to learn how to fill these in with any of these informations. So if we know this, how do we discover this and this? If we know this, how do we discover this and this? And if we know this, then how do we discover this and this? Okay, that's what we're going to learn how to do. How you can, if you know one of them, then you can do all three of them. That's what you're going to learn today. Okay. Okay, so what's that stand for? Fraction, decimal, percent. Good job. Okay. <clears throat> I think the easiest one to do is a decimal. Yeah. Okay? And let me tell you why. Okay? Because if it's in decimal form, then look what you can do. What place is this in? Tenths. Tenths. So guess what it's going to be as a fraction? One. Three. Three tenths. Tenths. You understand that? Mm-hmm. Okay, now, in order to make something a percent, it has to have 100 on the bottom. Okay. Okay, so how would I make this 100 from 10 to 100? Um, 10 times 10. Yep, so if I multiply this by 10, then what do I do? 30 over 100. Very good. So 30 over 100 is 30%. Okay, you can go on and fill those in. Now I'm going to erase this fraction that I worked on to make from 3 tenths to 100. I'm going to erase that. Because you always want to make your fraction reduced as low as it'll go. Will this three tenths reduce any more? I don't think so. I don't think so either. No, it won't. Okay, so something won't go into three and ten and reduce any more. Okay, so we've got this whole row done. All right, now let's work with this one. Now there's a few different ways you can do this. Do you already know what half of a fraction is? Half of one half, if we were to do a circle? Yeah. What is that? It's just 50%. 50%. So we know that already. Okay. But let's pretend we didn't for a minute. I'm going to go in and leave it up there. Okay. So what will I do to make this into a decimal? Well, I can do it one of two ways. Okay. I can go one divided by two, which is what it says. One divided by two. I want to put a decimal and figure it out, and so I end up getting two times five is 10, and that is done, okay? Move my decimal up, it's 0. 0.5. Okay. 0. 0.5 is my decimal, okay? Okay. Or, you can do it another way, and because since it's one half, if we want it to be a 10 right there, then I can make it a tenths, right? So, how did it get from two to 10? Uh, 2 times 5. Times 5. Times 5. So now that's 5 tenths. And 5 tenths as a fraction becomes what as a decimal? Hmm? 5 tenths? Oh, 0. 0.5. 0. 0.5. There's another way you can figure it out. Yeah. So you could either have changed this to a 10 to then come up with this to then come up with that. Or you can just do 1 divided by 2 and come up with that way. Yeah. Okay? Now... What I want you to see is look at this 0.5 and then this 50%. Okay. okay? <clears throat> Where's the decimal right here? Uh, before the 5. Okay. So if 0.5 is really 50%, where's the decimal even though you can't see it? Behind it. Behind the 50, right? Mm -hmm. So what happened to my decimal from here to here? Uh, it moved twice. To the left. Uh, left. Yeah. Right? So what happened here? It's right here, and it moved one, two, twice to the left, which is this. 
So if we go here, it would be 0 0.4. 0 0.4, and then what would it look like as a fraction? 4 tenths. And will that reduce? Yes, I think. 2 will go into 4. Uh, 2 times. 2 will go into 10. 5 times. So that's our. There you go. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. How you can figure out any of these just by knowing what happens each time. Okay? So it's always good to have um, what they call is like a standard. So a lot of people write this on the top of every chart so they can see what they did on each of them. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if you have the standard, then <clears throat> if I have 60% uh, here, well, what's this answer going to be? Uh, 0.6. Yeah. Okay. And then what's this going to be? Um, what's spot 6 tenths. 6 tenths. Which then you reduce it. Yeah. 3 fifths. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. So you knowing one of these helps you discover all the rest. Okay. Yeah. So knowing these two are probably the easiest. Coming up with the fractions a little bit harder on some of them. Okay. Yeah. Feel like you got it? Yeah. All right, that's lesson 99.